A well-trained thief can break into your car in just a matter of seconds. Well, listen up, because I'm exposing some car burglar secrets. Technology in cars is getting more advanced. You might think that carjackers are also using super advanced tech or gadgets to keep up with the flow. Well, mostly no. Old tricks still cover the majority of thefts. Experts say many drivers fail to take the simplest precautions. 43% of people don't check the door handle to make sure their car is locked before walking away. So, tip number one, lock your car, and then check again if it's locked or not. Here is a new generation trick. Apparently, sometimes all you need to steal a car is a plastic bottle. Here's the thing. Thieves walk in a parking lot, they lay their eyes on a car, they put an empty plastic bottle over the tire on the passenger side. The driver starts the engine, and the car begins moving. Ah, what's that crinkling sound? They get out of the car to check it out and bend down to see what's going on there. And then the thief comes and either steals the car or grabs the driver's valuables. The driver's biggest mistake in this case is to leave the car running. Rule number three is kind of related to these incidents. Don't leave your car running, like ever. Police warn that leaving your car keys in your car at a gas station, even while you're pumping gas, is an open check for thieves. They can simply hop in your car and go. I mean, it might seem like a great idea to warm your car up while waiting at home instead of staying outside in the cold, but this makes your car a target. Don't leave the car run you dash into a store either. Plus, in at least 30 states, it's not legal to leave a car running and unattended in a store parking lot. Now, this may seem obvious, but don't ever leave something valuable in the car, even some change in the cup holder. You'd be amazed at how little it takes to attract a car thief. It's like, is that a... Yep, I'm a go for it. Now, more advanced solutions are also available. Some gadgets lock your steering wheel so that the car can't be driven. I mean, these devices probably won't stop thieves, but they will slow them down or at least make them second-guess themselves. Okay, now, here's something called vehicle identification number. This number is unique to every car and its owner. Plus, it's public info. You can engrave your VIN on every window. This way, your car will become less valuable on the black market for its parts. No thief wants to drive a car that can be easily identified as stolen. Plus, changing the car windows costs a lot, so they won't want to deal with it. Now this one is my fave, using a kill switch. Thieves dislike those very much. This switch cuts the flow of electricity to the ignition switch or battery and disables the fuel pump. A hidden switch can prevent thieves from actually stealing your car even if they've already broken into it. The joke's on you, thief! Now close that door. Many new models come with a kill switch installed, and older versions can easily get one. Now meet Steve Fuller. He's a former car thief. He got convicted six times for stealing cars. But hundreds, yes, you heard me right, hundreds of other times, he got away with it. He left the dark side, though. Now he tries to make up for the things he did. So he agreed to tell the world the secrets only car thieves know. He confirmed that car thieves do not like kill switches. If they're well hidden, such switches may take some time to deactivate. Carjackers can't risk wasting too much time on one car, so they will move on to the next vehicle. Did you know that you might have an extra key in your car? Some cars have valet keys stashed inside the owner's manual or in the toolkit in the trunk. If that's true about your car, take the key out. If you know where it is, thieves will know too. You think you have a perfect hiding spot for your spare key, huh? Well, car thieves know where to look. Some people hide their extra keys under the bumper or beneath the floor mat. Thieves routinely check those places as well. Fuller says, glove compartments, center consoles, doors, change trays, you name it, it's there. I found keys in all those places. More surprisingly, he admitted that after scoping out vehicles, he'd found the key in 90% of the cars he had stolen. Some more interesting information comes from the National Insurance Crime Bureau. They found out that between 2016 and 2018, nearly 230,000 vehicles had been taken because the vehicle's fob had been left inside. 
Now, speaking of keys, car burglars can open cars by intercepting the signal from their keyless entry system. Yet only just 5% of vehicles hide their fobs in an RFID wallet that can protect them from getting the signal intercepted. Now, imagine you come home and park your car in front of your house. You put the car keys on the car hanger near the entrance door. Bam! In the morning, you may not find your car where you parked it the night before. Many people believe that putting their keys anywhere at home is safe. Unfortunately, this is not enough. Car burglars can use devices to get the signals from keys and unlock devices remotely. The solution is to keep your car keys far away from the entrance door, in a place where thieves can't pick up a signal. Use technology to protect your car. Alarms with motion sensors are a no-no for thieves. A GPS tracking device can also be of use. In the worst-case scenario, it'll help police find your vehicle. Car alarms are also a real turnoff for thieves, so invest in a good car alarm. The last line of defense regarding devices is a dash cam with a surveillance mode. All dash cams are designed to record your drive, but some models also allow you to monitor your car when you're not around. You might think that leaving the windows cracked open to let the car fill with fresh air can't do any harm. Nope, that little bit is enough for a thief to slide his fast fingers or tools inside. First the window, then the door. Fuller says a car with a slightly open window equals finding an unlocked vehicle. There are nice things about living alone, but finding an unsettling message outside your home isn't one of them. On a snowy winter evening, a woman left her house to take out some trash. She noticed that someone had written 1F on the snow-covered trash can lid. Apparently, this is a short version of one female. Someone had been watching her long enough to know she lived alone. Her car could have been an easy target. So, experts suggest you take a quick look around every time you leave home. Another trick carjackers use involves cheese. Imagine walking to your car and spotting melted cheese on your engine hood. Is it some kind of a prank? You begin to clean it away, but it takes ages. Meanwhile, someone might be watching you from a distance, waiting for the right time. They're likely to jump into your car and drive away while you're busy dealing with the cheese. Fuller says car thieves don't really like going to open and visible places, like in front of houses or in driveways. Dark and empty locations, such as apartment buildings, carports, and underground parking garages, appeal to them much more. He says he liked those places because they were very quiet. He could always hear it when someone was approaching. So, tip number 14, park your car in crowded areas. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.